Hello everyone. So in this part of the video, I'll be walking guys through on how to create and use bootstrap buttons. So in this case, as you can see here inside the bootstraps documentation, buttons can be created by just be having this particular button tag right here. As you can see a button where it's closed by where it has its own class and uh, along with the type right here. And all you have to do is just need to make sure to have your bootstraps styling to be implemented inside this particular button. You need to be implementing, you need to be typing this particular BTN. And this particular, the first BTN is meant for the size and the shape of the button. And of course, the second BTN class right here, as you can see, it always applies for the color that it has, it aligns with. For example, the primary will be always be blue, followed by secondary, uh, success, danger, and all the way up to dark right here. So as you can see here, this is how a typical button would be able to be created in Bootstrap. So let's get started into our code. And now in our code right here, I happen to be having a blank code. And all you have to do is just need to be adding that particular button tag. And just like this. And once you have added this, you will be able to find something like this. Next thing is to add some text inside it. So in this case, I would like to say subscribe. So as you can see here, if I just type the word subscribe like this, you'll be able to find the button will be having the text to be having like this. And as you can see here, this particular button does not happen to have any styling that has been given to this particular tag. So in this case, in order to have that particular bootstrap styling, we need to be giving, first of all, the class. So as I've, as I've said earlier, we need to be having BTN. And once I've added BTN, you'll be able to find that something has been added like this button it's just the button color has not been added so in order to have the color we need to be having button dash primary something like this and if you have saved it you'll be able to find your button will be looks exactly like the one in the bootstrap design and of course this particular button can be having other colors as well the colors are the ones that i just shown you so in this case i'm going to create another new button right below here in this case i have to change the primary to secondary and of course, of course, secondary color is actually gray. And also we can also create another new color with changing the secondary to success. And you'll be able to find that particular button will be having a green colored background like this. And there you go. Right now, let's, if you, and there you go. Right now, as you can see here, not just button tags that are be able to be implemented. We can also use anchor tag to be as the button like here. As you can see here, we open to have this particular anchor tag. And of course, only because it has the styling called BTN and also followed by BTN dash primary it also happened to look like a typical button and there you go right now on this case we can also be able to implement that particular a anchor tag right below here in this case just need to be having a in this case in this inside here I like to say click me and inside the anchor tag I'll be having href because every single anchor tag will be having an href like this and also, as you can see here, right now you happen to have this plain anchor tag right here. In this case, you need to be having adding the class. In this case, I have to say class, and inside the class, I'll be having BTN. And not just BTN, of course, you need to be having the color. So BTN dash primary. And there you go. Right now, you'll be able to find the anchor tag called click me. will be also be having inheriting the same style of a typical button of how the button tag was be having has been having this now and next we'll be able to find we are able to make the buttons to have outline background instead of plain full background the only difference is that this particular button will not be having any fill background when you don't hover on top of this when you, when you hover on top of this then only you'll be having the fill and this actually actually contradicts to the ones that we and this is actually a bit more different than the one that we did just now because the one that we did just now does not happen to have any outline when we hover on top of it so that's the difference between when we implement outline and let's and the only difference that in order to implement this particular outline style you need to be having this particular outline text to be placed in between your button and your and type of the button color like this in this case let's say if you would like to have button primaries just need to be having another word in between them and that's it so in this case let's go back to our code and in our code right here I like to just like create another new button in this case let's just, just let me say and in this case, I'll, I'll change this particular button dash primary and I'll be adding another word called outline dash primary and you'll be able to find your button tags 
your button has been just been implemented outline has been implemented into your button and of course you can also change to use other colors of as well in this case uh, in this case let's say if success instead and you will be able to find this particular button has been having a green color outlined together and when we hover on top of this it becomes green color and next we can also be having different sizes for the but for the buttons uh, in this case really all you have to do just need to be adding button dash lg and for that's for big sized buttons and of course for small sized we can be having button dash sm and this is basically just adding another styling effect right after we added the color so in this case let's go back to our code and in this code right here i like to have another button right below here and in this case right after that particular button first of all i'll remove the outline for a while because without the outline and let's next thing is i like to add btn dash lg and yeah lg is meant for big sized and there you go right now you're able to find a but this particular button is bigger than the normal sized button and we can also be having another button this case I like to paste it right below right here and instead of lg at the moment we just need to be changing it to sm and as you can see sm will be having smaller than the typical one and just for a comparison, I have to place another, just like a, a typical button would take this particular button. I have to place it right below here. And of course, you'll be having the bigger size here. You have to be having the big sized button right here and the normal sized. And of course, the, the small sized button right here. And that's the basic idea of how to use size for buttons. And next, I would like to walk you guys through on how to make use of button groups. So button groups are basically a group of normal buttons that can be listed out in the same group. And as you can see right here, you will be able to find that this particular list of buttons right here are actually arranged inside a button group like this. And this particular three buttons are actually are basically a typical buttons that can be created by actually by just by saying BTN and BTN dash secondary. Those are basically, basically typical buttons. Just need to be placing them within the button groups. And you'll be, the only thing that makes it different from the normal button is basically it has is like as you can see here they are actually arranged in a way that only the H the, the first button and the last button will be having at their edge and the middle ones won't be having any edge for example in this, in this case it looks like it is only be affecting the first button and the last button and this is also a great way to actually to have multiple buttons and in this case you can also be having button groups to be placed inside your code and let's actually make use of this particular code and as you can see here inside our code right here we happen to be having many buttons so in this case i like to just like to like to just like to remove most of it and in this case i like to start from just from basic so in this case i like to just like use make use of button groups so in this case i like to say i like to add a div class in this case I like to say div and inside this this inside this div by the way i like to have the class to be having button group btn group just like this and of course inside this particular div right here is where we'll be placing the button tag so in this case i like to add button and inside this particular button i like to say button one and this particular button one will be having its own class where it will be able to use the bootstrap class stylings so in this case i like to say class and inside this class i like to say btn followed by btn primary and there you go right now you'll be able to find there is a button that's been just been created within the button group class and the next thing would be to actually to make a copy of the first button that we just created and just need to be placing it right below here and in this case i like to change the button text to become two and of course let's and as you can see here right now you're able to find only the edge has been having rounded corners and the one in the middle does not happen to have any corner right here and let's say if I add another another button right after this particular button. So in this case, let's, let's create another new button right below here. And in this case, it's going to be called button tree. And as you can see here, you'll be able to find the same effect has been effect has been used. Only the the first and the last button will be having rounded corners on their edges. And as you can see here, we can also change. We can also use different colors. In this case, let's say it's a secondary. And this the third button is going to be called success. And there you go. Right now, you're able to find this particular group of buttons will be having different colors because we have just placed them in different colors. And of course, the button group is making them to be having in the same group. Because when we don't happen to use this particular button group right here, you'll be able to find a huge difference. 
which is there's a huge gap in between them and there's no and since they're not connected and there's just some space in between them and all the buttons are actually independent and this makes it then that's the difference that makes it difference from button group and without using the button group and that's the basic idea of how to make use of button group and thank you guys for watching till the this particular video till the end that's the basic idea of how are we able to make use of buttons in bootstrap and let's catch up on the next one on our next video so until then thanks for watching